So in software engineering, let us talk about the people, so people management and people organization. The main issues will be the people are key in software development, first of all, and then different ways to organize the software development projects. There are different ways to organize people. People are very important. This is the one way. This is another way. This is how third way can be. Means you can um, have different type of organization. Say you can have friendly, and, uh, friendly or total formal, or you can have an authoritarian uh, view or organization of people. What about people management? People have different goals. We we are talking about individuals. They have different goals. But we have to relate the people with the productivity because main idea or main intention is to increase the productivity and group processes because uh, no one does things in uh, isolation. There is always a group or a community or set of people who does something. Coordination of work because work various people are involved so there has to be a proper coordination between these people and their work and of course Communication informal because formal communication is you know you can write a letter you can do things but in normal social life informal communication is also very important. This is Minsberg coordination mechanisms. So this uh, what about this uh, Minsberg coordination mechanism? This is quite simple. Means you have you have ought to have a direct supervision on the individual direct supervision and the uh, machine bureaucracy means. Standardization of the work process. This is what means work coordination mechanism say. And in terms of divisionalized form, the standardization of work products is required. The professional bureaucracy here in Minsberg means standardization of worker skill. So standardization of process, standardization of work products, and standardization of work skills. And advocacy means mutual adjustment. One adjusts other second adjust with the uh, third person like this what are external and internal forces uh, example context will be a complex software development project in a new not yet explored area within a government agency external force could be just take an example like this the bureaucratic context is likely to want to push a bureaucratic type of organization with say bosses and hierarchical decision procedures that you find in government offices. Internal forces could be the project really requires a more democratic and census based type of organization. This is Redin's management styles. Redin's management style. If you see here, there are two uh, parts. One is related directedness and task directedness. Low high, so separation style, commitment style, relational style and integration uh, style. Separation, commitment, relation and integration with respect to the task and their relationship. Focus is in both these schemes, Minsberg and the, and the Redins, in both these schemes, we look for the manager of the team, the manager who manages. So we may also take the opposition or uh, opposite position and consider the the relation and task maturity of individual team members. So we may also take the opposite of, uh, position like considering the relation and task maturity of the individual team members and the manager should align his dealings with the team members and their maturity. What about team organization? What uh, about team organization? The team organization is hierarchical organization, right? Hierarchical organization and metrics organization, there are various types of organization. One is hierarchical, then you have metrics organization, chief programmer uh, team, SWAT team, agile team like extreme programming, open source development. This is the hierarchical team. One level, second hierarchy, third hierarchy. Metrics organization is like this. Okay, different, uh, no hierarchy is there, but still people know what kind of job they are supposed to do. Chief programmer means you have a chief programmer. Here. And in this, you have a person or a, or a manager or a chief programmer who guides others. This is a skill work with advanced tools, SWAT teams. They are skill workers, they do their job, they know their job and they do by themselves. They are provided the job and left the, left, uh, the job completion to them. 
Agile team is very agile. See, this dog is passing through this uh, very, very tiny hole. But because he is flexible, the dog is uh, flexible, it can uh, pass through it. So agility is the key. What about the open source software development? In this open source software development, uh, this is active users, core team, passive users and code developers. That means there is a code team always in an open source uh, software development. Then we have active users which are very much related to the core team. Then there are co-developers uh, along with the active users. And finally, there are passive users who are contributing. There are certain general rules. What are the general rules? We use fewer and better people. We fit tasks to people and we help people to get the most out of themselves. And we look for a well-balanced team. So if someone doesn't fit the team, we remove it. These are very basic rules. So about uh, managing people or uh, you know uh, looking for the people management, software is written by humans. We must know and we must understand this. Coordination issues and management styles we have seen, there are various. Two of them we have discussed. Common team organization in software development needs hierarchical organization, metrics organization, agile team and open source development. So these were key issues in uh, program uh, development, that is software development with respect to the people or the human resource. Thank you so much.